how to register for and use PowerSchool. In this video, you will see how to use PowerSchool to update your contact information so that you can receive important communication from CSDMB, including announcements from the district and connecting with your child's teacher. First, you should have received a letter that looks like this with instructions on the back how to set up your parent portal account. Go to any web browser and type in https colon backslash backslash ps dot csdnb dot org. Once you are here, click on create account. Click create account once again in the lower right corner. Now you'll enter your information, beginning with your name. For the purposes of this example, the first name is parent, the last name is New Britain. Enter your email address, again as an example, the email address will be newbritainparent at gmail.com, but enter your email address. Then select a desired username. We encourage you to make your username your email address. After that, you will select a password. They'll ask you also then to re-enter your password for security purposes. Now you'll go down to the student account and enter your child's name. For the purposes of this example, the student's name will be last name New Britain, followed by a comma, and first name, in this example, student. You will then enter the access ID and access password that is provided on the instructions on the back of the letter you received. Select your relationship to the child. If you have more than one child in the district, repeat this step for each child. You'll have received a unique access ID and access password for each student. When you have entered all the information for each student, slide down and click enter. You have successfully created your parent portal account. Now you can enter PowerSchool by entering your username, which again should be your email address and your password. You can also add students to your parent portal by entering PowerSchool and going to Account Preferences. Then clicking on the Students tab. Go to Add and enter the information for the student you are adding, including the student's name, the unique access ID that was provided to you in the letter, the unique access password also provided to you in the letter, and your relationship to the student. You will now see that both students' names appear above the navigation button. You can now switch between both students and access information on each child. Now you'll navigate to returning student registration to make sure your contact information and your child's is accurate. Now that you have your parent portal account, it's so important that your contact information is updated and accurate so that the school district can communicate with you and get you important information. For instance, if your address or your phone number has changed where we can contact you, this is where you want to make those updates. For all address changes, please note the school district will need residency verification. Please fill out all the forms, including guardian information, as well as emergency contact information. Please be sure to also update sibling information for each student. Once you have filled out all the forms correctly, 
You'll then provide your electronic signature along with today's date. This will then bring you to the section to review and submit. Please take the time to look through, make sure all the information is accurate, especially your contact information. If anything does need to be edited, you can do so here as well and make sure you submit that correct contact information here, such as an address change or a number change. And when it is all accurate, click Submit. Now that you're set up in PowerSchool, you can easily access it on our website at csdnb.org. Go to PowerSchool and then click Parent Student Portal.